Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today I'm very excited. I'm going to be reacting to Chewy's solo debut album EP um, about you. We're going to be reacting to the music video first for Runaway and then there's like a live, I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to watch that too, like the live special clip that she released. We're going to watch that uh, and then we're going to listen to all of the B-sides on the album. So I'm very excited. I haven't heard any teasers or spoilers, so I don't know what we're getting at all. And I don't really know much about her like musically, right? I don't know much about like her taste or what type of music she listens to. So I don't know if it's going to be a ballad album or a pop album or if she's going to give us a bunch of variety. So that's kind of exciting to me too because just what are we going to get? So I'm excited to check this out. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Check out my Twice playlist for all my previous Twice reactions and today is all about Chew. Let's go. All right, this is Chewy Runaway music video. I'm very excited. I have no idea what to expect. Like I said, I haven't seen any of the teasers or anything like that, and it's been out for a couple of weeks now, so let's go. Run, oh. I was not expecting it to just like start like that, just like vocal, right? Um, so that kind of took caught me off guard, but it sounds very pretty. She looks amazing. Wait, who's that? Hello? <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait, hold on. What was she doing with the blood and the finger and the bandage? And the song just kind of switched into like this club dancey. Maybe I just don't understand the video. <laughs> The disco elements. It's not sampled, but it almost has a similar, um, like, beat and a similar vibe of, like, I Will Survive. Just like, just like the, um, that, like, synthy melody that just happened there. It's interesting. I wasn't sure what to expect with Chewy. Um, like what her solo would sound like and don't worry, we're gonna listen to the full album, but um, this is interesting Yeah, this almost sounds like the bridge of like I will survive Oh. 
Okay. The video is beautiful too. That choreography was crazy, ma'am. <laughs> the dance challenge. Everyone's knees hurt. Oh, that's so pretty. Interesting. I love that it was different. Um, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. The song itself is probably going to have to grow on me. Um, I like I like the vibe. I kind of like the dark. I like the dark clubbiness of it. Uh, the retro disco-y elements. Definitely very, like, fierce. It's just, I think this song might grow on me the more I listen to it. I don't... It's not bad. I don't dislike it. Um... But to me, the thing that stood out most on this was the actual, like, video itself. Uh, just, like, how beautifully, like, cinematic it was shot. How beautiful she looked. The choreography was cool. I loved all of the dancers. And the song was just kind of, like, part of that. Like, it, it was the whole thing together was just, like, very dramatic and cinematic. I think I would probably like the song a little bit better if I heard her do it live. I think I would probably like that a little bit better because the video was almost distracting and like how beautiful does that make sense like the video was almost like so beautiful and so well done it was distracting me from the song because i was like what what's happening what's happening Woo, she looks good and then like i was like, okay there's actually a song here as well um but yeah let me know your thoughts on runaway again i wasn't sure what to expect i didn't know if we were going to get like a fun pop song or like a sexy I don't know really much about her style and like what type of music she likes. Um, but yeah, that was, that was, that was good. Let me know your thoughts. All right. Before I start listening to the B sides, I want to watch this special live clip, heartbreak in heaven, lazy baby fly. So yeah, heartbreak in heaven, lazy baby and fly. These are three B sides on the new album that I haven't heard yet. Um, but I want to hear this live like compilation of the songs because I just want to hear it and then we'll listen to the album. Baby, I'll be, be your heartbreak in heaven. Hosts like you, but it's what they be say. Can you dreams? Can you presses? I'll be your heartbreak in heaven. Stay on with the bad ones till you go and get one. No. Ooh. And this is the song that's featuring um, Peniel from B2B. That's going to be the song we listen to next because it's the second song on the album. But Oh. Oh. I can show you things you've never seen before. <laughs> I'll be your heartbreak in heaven. Hurts like hell, but it's worth every second. Is that the lyric? Oh, 
Oh, I love these lyrics. I love that. She's like, I'm going to ruin you, but it's going to be, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Not the cheese puffs. Why is that the first thing I noticed too? <laughs> Snoring. What you gonna do? Nothing. This is the mood. I love that. She's like showing off her quirky side. All right, sing. It's giving Windows 95 wallpaper. You know, with the four windows and then the clouds. Yeah. That's really cool, though. The popcorn all over the bed. Oh, I love the low. I love the low vocals. Well, that was beautiful. And that's it. That's really cool. I don't think, um, obviously, other than like a highlight medley, I don't think I've ever seen like a live clip like this where it's been multiple songs. She just sang three, like parts of three songs on the album. So that's really cool. I loved that. Um, and Heartbreak in Heaven sounds like a bop. So give me just a second. We're going to listen to that next um, yeah, at first when I saw the live clip, I thought it was just Heartbreak in Heaven, um, and it was going to be like a live with her and Peniel, um, but that part wasn't even on the, the live she just did, so I'm excited to hear the full song and the full album. Give me just a second. All right, this is Heartbreak in Heaven. I love this beat. I say I just want fun, don't you get emotional? It's like simple pop. If you feel like going places you have never been tonight, I can show you love under the bright lights. Hope you tell the say goodbye. Cause I, I, baby, I'll be, be your heartbreak in heaven. Hearts like hell, but it's worth every second in your. Dreams, counting your blessings. I, 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 I'll 
So catchy. And completely in English. All right, Peniel, what are we doing? So I loved that song. Super catchy. I knew I was going to like it just from that live clip that we just watched. Um, the only thing is I like Peniel. I think he's really cool. I think he's sweet. Um, I just wish that rap was better. <laughs> the delivery, I, I just wish the rap was a little bit more aggressive. Um Because it was kind of like awkward. I, f I feel like that rap wasn't good. Um, but yeah, it's to the point where like, if you removed the rap, I would like the song probably more. Um, I just wish the rap was a little bit more aggressive or like the flow was smoother or I don't know. I don't know. There's just something about the rap. I did not really like that much. Um, but overall this song, very good. I loved it. Um, I probably like this more than the title track, honestly, but, uh, Anyway, let's move on to the next song. All right, next up is Lazy Baby, and I'm excited. This one was really cute in the uh, live clip, so, and I didn't realize there's a featured artist. This is featuring PH1. Let's go. She just wants to sleep all day. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna do nothing, not yet. Never. <laughs> snoring Oh 
This is super cute. I love this. Yes, twice. I loved his rap verse. You're really lazy. 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 Not him saying you are lazy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I loved that. Sorry if you hear rumbling in the background. It is thundering outside. Um, I loved that. That was like a self-care anthem. I'm talking about being a workaholic and just wanting to be lazy. Turning your alarm off, staying in bed all day, doing nothing. Um, which is amazing. Definitely take care of yourself. You need a lazy day every once in a while. Um, but if every day is like that, uh, you might have depression. Uh, <laughs> just saying. Um, I really liked that. I loved his rap verse in it as well. It was just a really cute, fun song. All right, next up is Losing Sleep. Oh. oh this is cool. Stay in my room. I love that ramp up harmony. That was an interesting choice. That one was very, um, it was pretty straightforward. It was pretty quick. Um, I think it's probably my favorite so far, though. Uh, that was just like a good, fun, 
pop song. It, it, it also felt like very fresh and very clean in the production. The only thing I didn't like was just that one part where they had the vocals like pitched up with kind of like that effect. Um, it didn't ruin the song for me. I just think it probably would have been better without that. Um, but anyway, Losing Sleep, that, that was really good. Okay, this is One Love. Oh, this is fun. That's fun. I love the production on this song. There's a lot going on. I love all the layering. pretty okay i liked that um i especially like the part towards the end where they just stripped it all out and it was just her voice such a pretty moment and then it came back for that final chorus um that's just like a really nice sweet pretty song um definitely feels like it's in the right place you know like towards the end of the album it's kind of like wrapping up it's just like a sweet song I could definitely hear her singing that like towards the end of a concert. Um, it's very pretty. There's only one song left on the album, which is Fly. And um, also very pretty. We heard a little bit of that in the live clip. So um, that's going to be it. The last song. All right. Last up on the album, Fly. Let's go.
Oh, is this a fan song? Nice little inspirational song. Oh, I love that piano. Yeah, her voice. such a pretty way to end the album that was such a pretty song um that song was like perfect for her voice as well that was i have to listen to the album again obviously i've only heard all of these songs one time um but that song was just a great showcase of her voice and um she sounded amazing uh i don't necessarily love the song just being on just because it was like a very sweet like inspirational just a very beautiful song right and those are not the type of songs i listen to like ever um <laughs> but definitely super sweet if this was sung at a live like at a concert everybody be crying it's very sweet uh and her voice really added to that just like the beautiful her voice was just like another beautiful um part of the song other than just like the message and the production everything about this was really gorgeous and i loved like the little light like piano flourishes in the background it was just a great way to close out the album um the last two songs really were a great way to kind of wind down the album but that's going to be it um that was chewy's debut about chew uh mini album or ep i loved it um it did feel kind of short what's my favorite i think losing sleep might be my favorite yeah i like losing sleep heartbreak in heaven run away lazy baby was super fun and cute um and then one love and fly were pretty and sweet i really liked it album was a good showcase for her um the title track does feel really different from the rest of the album having kind of like those retro 
kind of like disco vibes. We got a little bit of that in Heartbreak in Heaven. But yeah, the title track is really the only song on the album that's kind of got those like glam, fierce vibes. Um, so that's a little bit odd. But I do like the title track. Um, the rest of the album kind of feels pretty cohesive. The title track just kind of feels a little bit different as far as the vibe from the rest of the album. And that's kind of the point of a title track. But anyway, um, I really enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on this album. What's your favorite song on the album? And I know she's got like her own about you. I think she's got like a solo promotion or variety thing going on. I think there's like three or four episodes right now. So maybe I'll check that out. But uh, let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys later. Bye.